will happen now is with these companies coming in there are already many other people oh uh, they are interested and they are looking at these opportunities and along with that you see the hospital construction will begin uh, uh, shortly because the dpr is being finalized so once that is done we are going to uh, tender it again and there are many people you know this is like a big whale coming and then you have piggy back many smaller uh, people that was indian high commissioner to ghana dr kg shrinivasa Beyond Ashoka and White's other major Indian companies, such as the company that built the Guyana National Stadium in 2017, has also expressed an interest in returning to Guyana and setting up operations here. It comes as the government, with the country's newfound oil wealth, is leading several transformational infrastructural projects across the country, with a promise to deliver to the Guyanese people massive physical development in the coming years. Dr. Srinivasa said already the Indian High Commission is working with the government of Ghana, the Guyana Office for Investment Going West, the Private Sector Commission, the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry, along with other stakeholders to send a delegation from Guyana to India. The purpose of such a visit would be to brief investors in India on the opportunities in Guyana. So what people do is, it comes in bulk to these big countries, then from there it's like transshipped in pieces into India, into Guyana. Stuff is Indian, but it's shown under the balance of trade with those countries. So I can't really put a figure on that right now, but normally that bilateral trade with this effect you should keep in mind is only about 50 million US every year. Apart from that, he said the two countries are looking to establish a joint India-Ghana Chamber of Commerce, just like what was done with other countries like the United States and Canada. As for the latest update on trade between the two countries, the Indian High Commissioner said it stood at over 200 US dollars last year with the two lifts of oil India bought from Guyana. But apart from that, it is sometimes hard to calculate because trade between Guyana and India is mostly rooted through third-party countries. But normally, bilateral trade is only US $50 million annually. The High Commissioner said this would change once the Indian companies come here with a focus on participating in the oil and gas sector. Only last week, he offered India up as Guyana's development partner, stating that its support does not come with any preconditions nor any expectations of favors. Canada, China, the United Kingdom, the European Union and the United States of America have all signaled strong support for Guyana's development priorities. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.